Hey guys, welcome to Rithi Define. My name is Saurav and today we are going to discuss some important events that happen around the world. So let's start. Researchers from Lawrence Evermo National Laboratory and the Chinese University of Hong Kong using a new time-based method to control light from an ultra-fast laser, researchers have developed a new nanoscale 3D printing technique that can fabricate tiny structures a thousand times faster than a conventional two-photon lithography techniques without sacrificing resolution. Despite the high throughput, the new parallelized technique, known as Phantom Second Projection (TPL), produces depth resolution of 175 nanometers, which is better than the established methods and can fabricate structures with a 90 degree overhangs that can currently be made. The technique could lead to manufacturing scale production of biocaffolds, flexible electronics, electrochemical interfaces, micro optics, mechanical and optical metamaterial, and other functional micro and nano structures. Next. Lady 3D printer OEM Strategies has announced the Performance Partner Program, which connects auto racing competitive sailing and supersonic travel teams, leveraging additive manufacturing. As part of this program, the company has also facilitated the Performance Partner Summit in Speedway, Indiana, where the partners can collaborate on the competitive application of FDM technology. Sandvik, a Swedish engineering group, is set to add titanium mandate manufacturing powder to its trademark of Osprey brand of material. The new powder will be produced at the company's state-of-the-art atomizing plant, which will be inaugurated later this month. Currently, the company aims to manufacture these Osprey grades. Sandvik also developed tool steels including managing steel, stainless steel, and duplex steels, nickel-based superalloy, cemented carbines, and high entropy alloys. Researchers from the University of Birmingham have developed a new 3D printing method for soft materials, which could enable the manufacture of artificial medical implants, known as suspended layer additive manufacturing. This technique uses a polymer-based hydrogel-containing particles for a self-healing gel. Liquids or gel can be injected into this medium using a 3D build forms. The hydrogel we have designed has some really intriguing properties that allow us to print soft materials in really fine detail, explains Professor Liam Grover, leader of the study published in Advanced Functional Materials. Aerospace startup Relativity Space, the company aims to launch the first fully 3D printed rocket to orbit. After raising $140 million in the latest funding round, Relativity says its total funding is now equal to $185 million, which is enough money to carry a company through its first flight over the next couple of years. 4D printed shape shifting structures hold significant potential for the future of engineering, be it self assembling trusses or medical devices that help inform cell regeneration. The field still has many challenges to overcome before its possibilities become practical. Up to now, one of the greatest challenges of the 4D printing has been its ability to create complex, smoothly curved shapes, difficult to do with a single material and a simple structure. A multi material, heterogeneous design is required instead. At Howard University, Researchers from John A. Paul School of Engineering and Applied Sciences and the Wyss Institute of Biologically Inspired Engineering have collaborated to create a challenging 4D printed shapes, demonstrating the potential of technology. In a paper published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, the methods developed by the team have been used to create a frequency shifting antenna and a flat lattice that, when placed in salt water, takes the shape of a human face. Polymers based on dynamic chemical bonds, which allow changes in material properties during and after production, are a focus at the Netherlands Organization of Scientific Research. They are improving their adhesive strength by adding dynamic bonds. These bonds are called Velcro spaghetti. At high temperature, the Velcro bonds separate and the plastic is liquefied. The materials have been developed for 3D printing applications, especially laser sintering. To explore the possibilities of mud architecture, Riles and Fratello has created 3D printer prototypes that take cues from historical earthen construction built along the Rio Grande River. Led by architects Ronald Rell and Virginia San Fratello, Riles and Fratello created four mud structures as a part of its Emerging Objects investigative series into 3D printing. The project called Mud Frontiers resulted in 3D printed designs. Earth, Beacon, Lookout, and King that the studio believes could help provide solution for more affordable constructions. These were the current news that was happening around the 3D printing world. Stay tuned for more and also to know more about 3D printing, please subscribe, share, and like this channel. Also, if you want your object or design to be 3D printed, there is a link down in the description box. Please go and check it out. Thank you for watching and keep printing.